From farm fresh milk to tasty artisan cheeses on the shelf, Guns Hill Artisan Cheese has perfected the long and complex art of crafting cheese. Cheesemaker Shep Eiselstein studied the craft of making cheese in Switzerland and now produces three types of cheese hard, soft, and semi hard, all of which are variations of lesser known Swiss type cheeses. This is a look at how semi hard cheese is made. Guns Hill uses milk from cows raised on the family farm. Only pure whole milk is used. The process of turning the milk into cheese involves nine basic steps. First, the milk is pumped into the cheese vat where it is pasteurized. Pasteurization involves heating the milk to 63 degrees Celsius for a half an hour. This kills the unwanted bacteria. After that, the starter culture is added. This is a very specific type of bacteria which eats the lactose in the milk and creates lactic acid. Different strains are used in different types of cheese. An hour later, rennet is added. Rennet is an enzyme which helps coagulate or thicken the milk. It turns into a jello-like mass. A key step is to determine when the milk is at the right thickness. Then the mass is cut into small pieces known as curds. The size of cheese curds varies by hardness. For semi-hard cheese, curds are cut to the size of a kernel. The yellowish liquid is whey. As the curds shrink, they push out this whey and become harder. To help them shrink, they must be heated. With the semi-hard cheese, some whey is removed and hot water is added. The hotter the water, the drier the cheese will be. The curds are then removed from the vat and put through the drain table. The whey filters out and is removed. The curds form a mass at the bottom. When the draining is completed, six hours after the milk was first pumped in, the mass of curds can be cut into squares that will fit into plastic molds. The curds are then pressed together. This squeezes out more of the whey and pushes all of the individual curds together into one solid cheese. The pressing stage can take 20 minutes or an entire night depending on the desired hardness. The newly formed cheeses must then be dunked into salt water. The salt is slowly absorbed into the cheese which prevents bacteria from growing and improves texture and flavor. These cheeses will sit in the brine for two days. Finally, the cheese is aged. This helps develop the flavor. The room is kept at 12 degrees Celsius and 90% humidity. The cheese must be turned every other day and washed with a salt water solution. The cheese slowly starts to turn orange thanks to a desired bacteria that grows on the outside. Some cheese factories add coatings and dyes, but Guns Hill prefers to allow this process to occur naturally. After aging for two months for a mild cheese and up to two years for a strong cheese, it is finally ready to eat. Take a moment to taste the delicious masterpieces crafted by Guns Hill Arts and Cheese.